This is the sixth Sunday in our season of Lent. Remember, it's a little Easter, so we get to kind of celebrate a little. And if we were here in person, it's Palm Sunday. We usually have a big palm parade, and it's a pretty exciting Sunday. Um, and it's right before, look at this bright white light that's trying to burst in in all of this darkness because in this last week of the season of Lent between Palm Sunday and Easter are when some really dark things happen and so that's why our painting progresses from light all the way into dark and then there's this bright white light that's just waiting to break in when we know about that empty tomb. But today, our word that we are, are fasting from is expectations. That means what do you expect and what's limiting you on what you wish for. So if you wish for something bigger, how does that help God's kingdom? And how do we have the faith to trust and dream for something that's a lot bigger than what we thought? So let's go hear a story about that. This is called Down in My Heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart and I'm so happy so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart this song is called the fruit of the spirit and there are some motions so make sure you join along the fruit of the spirit's not a coconut fruit of the spirit's not a coconut you want to be a coconut you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The next one. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the Spirit's not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Woo! Last one. The fruit of the Spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the Spirit's not a cherry. You want to be a cherry. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This one is called Who Did? And it is about Jonah and the whale. Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Jojo Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah down? 
The whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. The whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. The whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did, the whale did swallow Jojo Jonah. The whale did swallow Jonah. The whale did swallow Jonah. The whale did swallow Jonah down. Welcome back for uh, children's worship for the week of March 28th. It is Palm Sunday at the time you're hearing this story. Um, and we are fasting one last week from expectations. So this could be maybe you have a really high expectation, like something that you hope for, um, but that God is saying, mm, I don't think you really need that kind of thing in your life. Or it could be an expectation that's too low. Maybe you're not dreaming big enough. So as you consider expectations this week, here's a story for you. It's from Luke 5, and it's called Jesus Goes Fishing. One sunny morning, Jesus stood at the edge of Lake Galilee, teaching people how they could live with joy in their hearts. As he spoke, more and more people crowded around to hear. Jesus had to step into a, a boat owned by Simon the fisherman. Jesus sat down and from there began teaching the people who had gathered on the shore. And when he finished, Jesus said, let's go fishing. Simon replied, Master, we've been fishing all night and didn't catch a thing. <sighs> but if you want us to try again, we will. So they took the boat out into the deep water and Simon and the other fishermen threw the nets into the sea. Soon they had caught so many fish that the boat began almost to sink. Amazed, Simon fell to his knees. Master, he said, I am not good enough to be near you. Don't be afraid, Jesus said. Follow me and you will catch not just fish. You will catch people for God. So Simon and the other fishermen left their boats on the beach and they followed Jesus. They became his first disciples. So when Jesus was in that boat and Simon says, we've been fishing all night already, we didn't catch anything. And Jesus is trying to get him to go out and try again. Simon's expectation is really low because he thinks he's tried everything and it didn't work. But somehow that twinkle in Jesus' eye it happened. They went and they fished and they caught more than they could ever imagine. So I wonder how that could work in our lives this week with fasting and not trying to make our expectations too big or too small. So maybe our prayer could be for Jesus and God to help us be happy and content with exactly what we have. I think that's a good one. Let's pray for that for this week. And the next Sunday that we are together, I'll film the story just like this for Easter but I will also be back offering children worship and wonder in our worship centers. And it will be so joyful to see. I know some of you will be able to come and some won't. But those of you who need to be at home, you'll be able to still watch our recordings. For those of you who are going to be here, I can't wait to see you. It's been a long, long time. And I'm glad that you are all staying safe and are with your families. I'll see you on Easter.